our thoughts on all that stuff. You get plenty to listen from, but I digress. Moving on to our next topic. As I soon as I do this. All right, so here we go. All right, so our next topic at hand. Sonic creator Yuji Naka joins Square Enix. The man behind the Godfather of Sonic, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, um, has joined Square Enix. This was written by this is off of Eurogamer.com or Eurogamer.net. Sorry, um, written by Tom Phillips. Uh, today, Naka revealed his employment via port on Twitter, uh, but was vague on the project he is working on. The Steam uh, developer simply said he had jumped aboard Square Enix earlier this month. Uh, and this is his tweet. Just a quick note to let you know, I joined Square Enix in January. I'm joining game development as before and trying to develop games to, uh, at Square Enix. I am aim to develop an enjoyable game. Please look forward to it. Naka's name in, in the, is in the credits of dozens of Sega classics throughout the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Fantasy Star, Sonic uh, Knights, uh, Sonic, uh, comma, Knights, uh, comma, Sama, the Amigo, and Billy Hatcher. He left. He then left uh, Sega in 2006 to found to found Probe, which famously released the cardboard box powered Let's Tap for Wii, an idea that now feels uh, propathetically ahead of its time. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but um. So yeah, the man has joined Square Enix. Enix. Um, Enix. Yeah, so and assume, assuming he's going to make a new a new project, a new game for Square Enix, so I'm very interested to see what they do with him. Um, kind of interested to see what they do, honestly. Uh, Square Enix, Square Enix is an umbrella of, of many games. Obviously, Final Fantasy. Um, they've also done. They've also you know uh, are also a publisher. So um, I believe Laurel Croft is under that under that, or Tomb Raider is under that uh, umbrella as well. Yeah, and there's, he, there's a ton of games. I, mm-hmm. it, it'll be interesting to see if they give him, like, allow him to create a new IP, but I don't think that that'll be the case. Right. He'll probably just be brought on to a to an existing one and uh, work there as like. Um... <laughs> God damn it, Jason. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, like uh, I also like Valer's joke: him leaving disappoints a whole five people. Um, <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think that there's much to read into this because we know that he's just going to be helping making games. It'll be in, like the, the the news will be he gets a new he gets his own IP. That'll be the news. Him leaving is kind of news, uh, but at this point, like we don't know what he's doing over there. He could just be a PR guy for all we know. Po- and possibly, possibly, but it's also it's also yeah yeah it's, it's interesting to see the man who created so many uh ips in sega to kind of jump ship to square enix and now work on whatever projects they're going to put him on um it's, it's just interesting to see and uh for those titles are still with sega they're going to still be with sega like he, like when he goes it's not going to be like he's, he's not taking those with him like those are still all property of sega um as far right, as, right. as as far as like what it's going to look like for sega now like i i I think Sega is in a place right now where they're still. They need to bring back Hill, Billy Hatcher. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Oh God, no! Um, <laughs> like, oh God, no! That game was amazing. I, I take that. Oh back, come sir. on! <laughs> I was, don't don't make me throw hands on here. Um, I don't want to be a part of the podcast anymore. <laughs> um, like when it comes to Sega right now, they're in a state to where they're still kind of. They're in an interesting position because they're also they only are they producing games, but they're also a publisher as well. So they're definitely you get games that um under their belt as well as far as like what they approve of. Um, uh, Bayonetta was Bayonetta was under under Sega, right? The the, the series. Um, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, it's under Sega from what I from what last I remember. Um, they got that. They got uh obviously Sonic still you know they still got these titles that he left behind so they still got Fantasy Star Knights and Tom and Amigo and Billy Hatcher and, and, and some other things but they're, they're in a kind of interesting place right now they've actually I feel like they've you know most recently they've been actually doing better because of you know as you see on screen Sonic Mania did really well Sonic Forces did pretty okay I think it's sold enough I think to be okay it actually know. it it actually did fairly well oh it did okay like, oh yeah 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 like I, that's the thing about that game is a lot of people are giving it shit and saying that it's a bad game, but mm-hmm. I disagree. I don't think it's necessarily a bad game. Yeah, definitely. It plays. It plays. It doesn't have glitches. It doesn't have bugs. No, no. It's just no. a Sonic game. Yeah. It's just super short. 
Oh, and they own Atlas. That's right. Yeah, that's right. They do own Atlas, which is huge because Atlas is a, it's another company that makes awesome games. They just came out with Persona 5 uh, this past year, um, and it was fantastic. It was, that game sold well. Um, and also, it's it a really good game. So, yeah, like, I feel like it's a definitely interesting... Uh, it's interesting to see that he's, he's leaving, but also, like, I don't think it will change much in the space of the game, well, game here's, companies. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm looking at his, his, uh, his entire roster here. The only thing, like, it was Sonic, Spy vs. Spy, uh, Alex Kidd, he was a programmer on oh, that, Fantasy wow. Star was a programmer on that, uh, but, like, he was lead he was lead programmer on the Sonic game, Sonic and Knuckles, um, Nights into Dreams, and then from then on out, he was a producer, he was a director on Choo Choo Rocket, Oh, yeah. But, like, the Dreamcast days, he was just a producer. And then beyond a producer. Producer, producer, producer. Like, there was nothing. He created Fishing Resort in 2011. I don't know how that is. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, I think they might have just brought him on as a... Producer for whatever new game they're working on. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if it's going to be a new IP. I'm kind of curious about that. Or they're going to attach him. It might be. It could be attached to some, to some other... Man, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious now. Like, how is that? What, what particular game is it going to be? Is it going to be the we'll IP, keep, or is it going to be an existing one? Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on it, just as you know, so that way we can talk about it again later when they do announce that it, a, a game that he's working on or whatever. Yeah, I think the earliest we'll see of anything from this is E3. I think that if uh, Square Enix comes out and says like, you know, announcement of a trailer of like, here's a new, here's a new IP, and this is the guy who's being the producer for it, so. Um, yeah, I look forward to it. Uh, you know, that's probably the earliest we could probably see it as far as like when it comes to what exactly they're using them for. Or we not even see anything from them um, uh, at E3 and maybe at another event or none at all. Who knows? Um, but my gut is obviously E3. Um, but we'll, we'll definitely see. We'll keep an eye on this. Um, but uh, yeah, man, uh, good stuff for, for you Gigi, for uh, getting the position, but also like uh it's interesting that you know employers of other companies or, or people that are well known for for one thing at another company is now joining forces for another company um it's kind of like it's kind of like saying it's kind of like brett Favre of the packers was oh traded God. to the vikings well jets and then the vikings oh and it's just weird Could there be a worse analogy guys <laughs> hey, Chad, can, you, can you explain to me a worse analogy than that <laughs> i mean at least as far as we know, like Yuji is not like sending off dick pics to, to females, so that's fair enough. Yeah, fair at the enough. very least that. Um, all right, so moving on to our next topic. And this is something that we talked about last week, but you were you 